Hello everyone, welcome to English 3153 Technical Writing. I'm Callie Craig. And I'm Amanda Goyad, and we are your technical writing instructors for this summer semester. And our syllabi are similar, and our course policies are similar, so we just decided to create this first introductory video uh, as both of us presenting our policies to you. Okay, so we are going to start by summarizing our syllabi, although please note that this is a brief overview. You are expected to go through our syllabi on your own and you'll be quizzed on our syllabi. So let's start with an overview of what this course is. For people working in STEM fields, including medical and other technical fields, the ability to effectively communicate professionally with a diverse population is highly necessary. So English 3153 tech writing is designed for students to develop and practice various skills in technical communication by learning to analyze and produce technical documents across a variety of settings. In particular, this course will take a user-centered design research approach to writing for science, workplace, and consumer settings. So let's review some of the goals that will help you accomplish these, um, these practices that we have set out for you. One goal is for you to learn to produce technical communication genres. Another goal is for you to learn to respond to the rhetorical situations of professional settings, designing documents in specific ways for specific audiences, learning to translate technical information to non-technical audiences, and learning how to run a usability test and learn from users. So let's talk about the materials you'll need for this class. You'll need Stephen Krug's Rocket Surgery Made Easy. You will need regular access to Canvas. You'll want to log on to Canvas as frequently as you can for this course. Of course, you need computer or laptop access. And please have some sort of method for backing up all of your documents, whether you have a thumb drive, a Google Drive account, or if you email all of your Word documents to yourself. Whatever the case may be, just make sure all of your assignments are backed up. Yeah, that's extremely important. We want to emphasize that because we both have learned from experience that if you don't back up, don't save your work, then sometimes there's a possibility that you might lose it. Um, so that leads us to some online course expectations. Since this platform is different than a regular face-to-face -face weekly course that meets, um, some of the expectations that we have set out for you will be different. One major expectation is participation. Participation is vital to your ability to understand course material, and you will participate in this course as if it were working on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, as indicated on your syllabus. So make sure that every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday, you're aware that something is due, some kind of discussion or minor assignment or major assignment perhaps a quiz is due, so make sure that you have submitted that before or on that day. Um, we will have discussions, activities on a weekly basis, and you'll be required to participate in these two to three times a week. And responses to homework or to discussions are due on the day they appear on the schedule by noon. And if, you, if they are not received by noon, then you will receive no points. So make sure that you're aware of that. And also peer review is a major facet of both of our courses. So peer review is going to be required for each and every major assignment. You are expected to participate in peer review. Not completing peer review results in a 2% deduction from your final assignment. So please keep up with peer review. And what we've noticed in the past is that um, some students are held up in the process because the person who they are assigned to does not submit their work on time. So their, the reviewer does not get the, the rough draft on time. So make note of those dates. And usually they fall on Thursdays, I believe, for the most part. But make sure you look on the calendar. And if there's a rough draft of a major assignment due, then that means that you're going to have peer review right after that and that someone is depending on you to turn in your assignment so they can review your work and then they can get points for reviewing your work. Right. 
And also we know that it's summer, you all have jobs or internships or you're traveling, whatever it is, you have stuff going on. So we understand if you want to log on at the beginning of a week and do as much of your work as you can, that's totally fine, whatever your process is, as long as you meet due dates. But if you are someone who likes to log on on a Sunday or a Monday and get through as much work as you can, remember that you will need to log back on for peer review and potentially discussions occasionally. And our email policy is extremely important because that's going to be the method of contact. Um, we will be checking and responding to emails once a day at 5 o'clock p.m. So you can expect feedback at that time. So if you don't receive a response, let's say at 3 p.m. or at 2 p.m., keep the email policy in mind that we are responding to you at 5 p.m. Let's say you send out an email at Tuesday at 11 p.m. at night, then we will be responding to you on Wednesday by 5 p.m. Yes. So let's wrap up with some general tips for success in this course. We know all of you want to be very successful. We want you to be very successful. So some basic things are to be present and engaged. This may seem obvious, but it's very important to be an active class participator. And one way to achieve that is by participating every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just make sure that you've logged on. And like we've talked about before, if you're going to be logging on once a week or twice a week and getting work done ahead of time, just make sure that you've met the due dates for the assignments that are due on the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, ask questions. So you can email us. There will also be discussion boards for general questions each unit. You might post questions there and Amanda and I will respond. And if your classmates have the same question, they can just look there and it's already been answered. Yes, and take major assignments seriously. They make up the major part of your grade. So make sure that you're turning in all of, it, all of your major assignments on time so that you can receive full credit for those assignments and take homework seriously. The homework that we are assigning is not busy work. You shouldn't look at it in that way. You should look at the homework as building towards completing your major assignments. They're going to give you important lessons to learn so you can be successful when you submit your major assignments. And finally, imagine the text you produce in this class as writing samples for whatever your future career may be. This is a helpful class to have in any STEM field or related medical or technical field. And it's also going to look great on your resumes and CVs, which will be the first thing we cover in this class. So with that, I'd like to wish all of you luck. We look forward to working with you this semester. And bye for now. Bye for now.